it's back, man. Let's go. The OG level fun has been brought back to the back rooms through the fandom website. And it's literally amazing. It's back, plus there's more information and new images, and it's all just amazing. For the past few months, it seems like a ton of OG stuff has been coming back to the back rooms. No pun intended. And I feel like the back rooms is healing itself in a weird way, but without getting too sentimental, too sappy, let's get into this explanation and drop a like if you're excited that the OG level fun is back. Let's see what we can get into now. So a few months ago, I made a video titled where I explained what happened to Backrooms Level Fun. It was abandoned and it goes empty and it decayed and all that stuff. Many people were not happy with that, to say the least. They wanted the OG Level Fun back and now it is back and we got rid of all that old stuff and we're here. The level has been classified as a class party and is mostly unsafe with a hazardous environment and is overall pretty dangerous. Level fun is an anomalous level of the back rooms and we have no idea where it falls in the actual order of numbers, so we kind of just guess. The level is the origin of the Sanguine Festivus virus, which is pretty much the disease that makes people into these ravenous, jovial, zombie-like entities. Not really zombies, but they're kind of crazed like that. Now, I went over the partygoer entity being brought back a few weeks ago, but that was over from the wiki.lore. It's back on the wiki.lore. This is the fandom's lore, so it's not the partygoers, it's the SFV, but the OG level fun is back, so who cares? Level fun's layout consists of a large and confusing network of rooms and hallways, all covered in this really just colorful wallpaper and decoration. Most of the level is furnished with decor from party venues or birthday parties in general. Typically, the decoration includes children themes. We're talking balloons and streamers and confetti and party hats and plastic tables and chairs and all that jazz. There's also dining and picnic tables uh, set up in almost every single room with cakes and food and snacks and drinks on top of them as well as some wrapped presents and other sorts of balloon things. There's also plenty of other stuff that's just laying around. There are balloons literally everywhere in this level. Floating at the ceiling, tied to the chairs, on the tables, floating on the walls, on the wallpaper as illustrations, it's everywhere. You can really tell that a party is gonna happen through this entire complex. So the food and the drinks on these tables has been described as questionable in appearance and in taste, and many people report it being a sickly or off color and smell. Now, there have been wanderers who have explored and survived this level and have eaten the food and drunk the water, and they say it's not really edible due to the fact that it has a strange aftertaste of rust or meat. Hmm, I wonder what that could possibly be. It's human. The environment of the rooms and halls here is joyful, and there's often music playing from arbitrary locations. The music ranges from piano melodies to pop songs to laugh tracks and to anything like that, just, just party music in general. Now, the way the level is laid out is interesting. As I said at the beginning, it is a massive complex, but it is not infinitely on one plane. There are actually multiple stories that go up and go down. So that's how you travel. You go up or you go down and you do so using staircases. Anyways, the deeper you get into level fun, you'll see more and more party favors and party rooms and colorful carpets and walls and balloons and all that stuff. And eventually these spaces will become more flooded the further you go down. The decor is still there, the party favors and cakes and tables are still there, but there is three or four inches of standing water in some of the rooms. The water that's here is gray and musty smelling, and the source of it is actually not known. It's just there, it makes no sense why, but it is. But the danger of the water is that the sanguine festivus virus lives in it. This is the virus that can turn you into this crazed, subhuman, meat, flesh, cannibal thing. So you don't want to ingest it and you can accidentally fall over in this water or accidentally get in your nose or something, and then the transformation can start. Interestingly, some of the liquid in the cups on those higher floors that I mentioned is actually the gray water from these lower floors. So it's like something has taken these cups, filled it up with water from the low floor, walked up to the top, and put it there to try to turn people into a SFV zombie. So because of this, you need to avoid drinking anything at all or eating anything on the top few levels because who knows what could be mixed inside. 
Now, level fun is deceptively dangerous, partially because of the environment itself and partially because of the entity here. You never really understand how dangerous it is because of its happy and its jovial appearance. I mean, listen, if you get sent here, you see the party decorations, you see the happy wallpapers, you hear the calm music, you won't really think two times about being in a dangerous place. It feels very happy, like a childhood birthday almost, until it happens, or until you eat a meat cake. Now, it's thought that the food itself, of course, is made out of flesh from people, too, and that's why it tastes like rust and meat, but how these cakes are formed and why they're formed is unknown. It's almost just like it's a sick and twisted game for these SFV victims to do. We don't know. Just roll with it, okay? There's human cakes. The only group here is made out of the victims of the virus, and the group is called the Partygoer Jamboree. And the Jamboree has an unknown amount of inhabitants, since the complex of level fun is so big we can't really count, but members of these partygoers are almost always in a frenzy, manic state, seeking to infect and harm as many innocent wanderers as they can. They're constantly laughing and screaming and clawing and gashing everything they see and running at you as fast as they can. So if you see a member of the party to go jamboree you need to hide or run away at first you probably won't notice how off they are because the only thing that's outwardly going to show is their skin but if you're not looking closely you might get snuck up on by one these sfv victims are so dangerous because they've been known to force feed wanderers the food and the cakes and also force feed them the water and the cups or if you meet an sfv victim on the lower floors there's water they've been known to try to dunk wanderers heads under the water and some people end up drowning because of this so because of all this, you need to avoid contact with any other being but yourself. So just hide if you hear something, to be honest. And also, just in general, avoid this level. No matter how happy it seems, it is not safe and happy. Do not let the party favors fool you. To enter the level, you can find a bright and colorful door on just about any level that has lights and music blasting from behind the door. So once you open it up, you'll be sent here. Now, the entrances can move and change, but you might also see banners and signs pointing to the entrance, signs that the SFV victims have created to lure people there. In order to exit level fun, you have to exit the door that you came in. So make sure you don't explore too much of the complex, or if you find an exit while you're exploring, you need to take it because you might not find it again. But yeah, that was level fun. It's the OG version brought back with a few cool new details and changes like the flooded areas, the layout being multi-storied and the SFV virus and some new images and videos as well. I really enjoy the fact how the level kept that OG feeling with the layout and colors and sounds and balloons and cakes and everything, but also implemented new things. It's pretty neat. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. I do feel like the backrooms is healing. I feel like it's coming down off that insane popularity. So now it can finally go back to itself. I don't know about if you think that way, but I do. So I really hope you enjoyed it. We can all sleep better knowing that the OG level fun is back. And with all that said, I will see you all in the next video on any of my channels. There's no outro because I'm too lazy to write one. Peace and love.